the background and stuff. Your house looks beautiful though. Thank you. And we're live. What's up everybody? I am uh, not you. Last week I told you I'd be coming at you from a uh, different location, not my typical office look. Um, and I thought it was going to be my own office, but instead I am in coming at you from Myrtle Beach. <laughs> my first uh, remote live stream. So kind of cool, kind of weird, because I have a, uh, I'm going to call you all my live studio audience. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, can we like clap? Can we clap? <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear that. Hey, Adam, what's up? Uh, Dunce King, what's up? Glad you're on, <laughs> are on here. Um, anyway, yeah, y'all say hey when you're hopping on, and uh, then we'll get into my very eventful week that I had. Um, if you're new here, oh, we got dogs here too. Bailey. <laughs> Should be, it's going to be a very different evening tonight <laughs> than usual. Usually it's just me and a cup of tea and we ramble about um, whatever and wherever we want to. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm coming at you from an entirely different environment. This is Gabby's beautiful house, her beautiful curtains and her beautiful paint job. Once upon a time, her cat was that color as well. <laughs> did you get my pictures from Twitter? I did not. I need to check my Twitter messages. I apologize. I have not checked that. But hey, Adam, I think I already said hi to you. Uh, but hey, again. <laughs> anyway, Max, what's up? Glad you're on here. And Josiah, hello. I'll wait just a couple minutes and then I'll dive into my eventful week. But I also don't know where to start because last time I talked to y'all, I was uh, meeting, had a, I had just had a meeting about um, a range build out that we were working on at the house, which we've been talking about since April. Um, Colton, what's up? Julio, you're here again too. I am having a wonderful day, actually. Um, if you missed it, I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Um, I'm not going to get to spend nearly enough time here and I never really do. I always get here and then have like two days before I have to go home. So next time though, um, I come up here to see all my wonderful friends. I'm, we're going to go fishing, right guys? Yes. And they're interactive. I've got a great view. I can watch, uh, Gabby playing Fortnite while Minecraft. I'm Minecraft. Oh, excuse me. I don't know what we're playing. I don't know what you're playing. It shows how much I game. Yesterday I played Spyro. It's been a long time since I've done that. Ben, what's up? We can always start with the range construction or T-Rexes in no particular order. Okay. <laughs> At least somebody has a schedule for me tonight because y'all know that I need a schedule. Um, anyway, but we'll start with everything that's been going on. So yeah, last week I talked to y'all about uh, how we were meeting with a contractor about doing the range build out and a lot has happened in this one week. Like this has probably been the craziest week um, that I've had in a long time outside of all the traveling that I did back in February, March, and April. Um, heck, why not? We'll just dive right into it. So had the meeting last Tuesday with the contractor. Wednesday, he called, uh, gave us the price, and then called later, like just a couple hours later, and wanted to know if he could get started today because he had um, – or that day because he had a project that canceled on him. So he had like three days um, of downtime. So obviously we said yes and started construction last Wednesday. It was supposed to take seven to eight days and we are done. Literally all that they have to do left, uh, all they have left to do is um, hydro seating. But outside of that, like the sidewalls are up, the back berm is up and it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Apparently we don't do anything small around my family. Um, but yeah, Rapid Fire Rachel has her own range now at the house. So this is pretty daggum exciting. Means I'm going to have a lot more um, flexibility flexibility with filming different videos. So yay, finally, we're going to have videos going up here. Um, outside of me just rambling, I'm sure I will ramble in those as well. But, you know, exciting. I feel so bad for my friends right now that are letting me stay with them because they have to listen to me ramble. And half the stories that I'm going to tell you all, they've been listening to me complain about for the last... 48 hours. <laughs> they obviously really love me. Yeah. Ben wants more tacos. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, is that you? Yeah. Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we went and got Mexican food and Ben is uh, in my chat right now. What the heck? This is probably the first time you've ever been on here too. 
Don't act like you go here. I, you don't I, even go I, here. I support you every week. I'll have you know I join. You do? Sometimes. Guys, you're like the sweetest. It's so nice to have supportive friends. I have to buy a trigger pack for a black powder rifle. Hey, that's pretty exciting. No schedule needed. We literally are just here for the rambling. Love it. Um, okay, well, last week too, since we talked about the tree that I planted or replanted for like a whole hour, I need to let y'all know that it died. It's dead. So <laughs> that is really sad news because I loved that tree and I replanted it, but it said, peace out. Um, I'm not growing here. So I thought I was moving into a happier location and it hated it. So yeah, pretty terrible. Pyrotech. Hey, what's up? Glad you're on here and kaboom back, I guess. <laughs> I do have some more explosion videos coming and that's part of the beauty of having this uh, space of the house to shoot. Um, I can use whatever kind of targets I want to. So pretty exciting. Um, lucky friends got to hear the same stories over and over again. You know, I feel like that always happens anyway. Uh, Kyle, what's, what is your favorite AR-15? Um, that's hard to pick because I've got the first one I ever built is special to me. Um, I did a build with Brownells back in like 2017, I think. 2017, I did a build. Um, so I'm, I love that one, obviously. And I obviously I'm going to love my Jurassic rifle. Uh, it's an F1 with a beautiful paint job. Y'all saw it as Gun of the Day back in June. Um, hmm. But I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what my favorite would be. Tell them to join the show. Apparently, I tried to get Ben to come over here and be in the in the video. I told them that if they just want to walk by and uh, pop in and tell stories, because every single one of these people um, does incredible stuff in the firearms industry too. That's sweet. But it's true. I am uh, I am staying today with the people behind the Gundies. Pretty crazy. Also, Ben, you've been in this forever. Um. The tree was afraid of being trimmed with the spas 12. Yeah, maybe so. Or maybe it's because I planted it next to the tree that uh, that's haunted. The one that I was telling you all about that like just up and died out of nowhere. And it's making like TikTok sounds. Um, that could be that could be the other reason. No, like TikTok, like the upside down clock in Stranger Things. Maybe they don't watch my life because they didn't know about the TikTok tree. I was making a joke. <laughs> Although I did tell you about that tree um, on the phone. Yeah. <sighs> Who knows? Um, okay, well, other exciting news. Actually, I'll start with the random things that happened to me this week. So um, <laughs> I don't really share a lot of <laughs> I don't really share a lot of my Ben, I'm not answering your questions today. I don't, um, <laughs> I'm going to start this sentence 11 times. I don't share a lot about my gym life. That's like private for me, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm just awkward there. I go there. I stay very much to myself. I don't talk to anybody there. Um, very few people I actually speak to at the gym. Cause I'm, I don't know. I'm just really off there. I don't know why my hair's in my face too. Let's keep this out. It's self-aware tonight. Anybody else have that problem? Anyway, um, so I, I went to the gym and my husband was with me and he was like, hey, let's not do our typical plan that we're going to do for this particular workout. We're going to go rogue and we're going to try jump roping because we haven't done that since high school. So, um, yeah, he, we had a jump rope and we went to this little corner of the gym that we were going to try to jump rope. And he was like, give it a try. And I was like, I was never really good at jump roping. Not really my thing, but sure, whatever. I'll give it a good old college try. And, uh, I like did one whole rotation. I did a practice rotation to like, just make sure I knew what I was doing. I went to fling it around me and the sucker wrapped around my head, wrapped around my head and like smacked me a little smack in the cheek. And uh, I look around, like, hopefully nobody saw me. And three people made eye contact with me. So, like, everybody saw me with a rope wrapped around my head. Um, so, yeah, apparently I can't jump rope. And I have to leave my gym now and go somewhere else because I can never go back there. Um, so that is uh, – that's the beginning of the week after we talked last Tuesday. Any questions? Ask them now because I will never speak of this story again. You should do a video on competition for beginners. I actually would love to do that. Um, I've been talking about doing a series for a little while, so 
stay tuned because that's probably coming. Patrick, what's up? Um, I'm doing great. I just told you all my embarrassing story from the gym this week, and uh, we're we're working through it. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna get back to your question, Ben. I'm considering it. Um, you always have. Yep, always have hair in my face when you're shaving. Yeah, I don't know what this is tonight, though. Um, I consider this South Carolina self-aware hair situation. It's not doing what I want it to or staying. And I didn't bring a hat with me this whole trip. So I don't have anything to help me out. Um, okay, Ben, my studio audience that's helping in the chat right now, wanted to know uh, what my favorite gun from... The gun. Oh, what's my favorite gun from gun of the day? Um, okay, well, let's talk about this. Today is day 200 of the year. So that means 200 guns, 200 different guns have made their way onto the internet for uh, your viewing pleasure and for mine, because I've been really enjoying doing this from day to day. Um, what's my favorite, though? I have no idea. How do you pick a favorite gun? If anybody actually has a favorite gun, I would love to know because I like them for different reasons. Um, so if you like ask a specific favorite category, I might have one for that. Um, although somebody asked favorite AR-15 and I wasn't able to answer that either. So I wish Bailey wanted to come up here and be in my live. She probably does. I've got a cat, dog, and a fish all in as part of my studio audience tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I got a rambling with Rachel is filmed in front of a live studio audience next week at a laugh track too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brendan. Yes. I told y'all there's a dog. Hi. Hi, pretty girl. Thank you. She's actually a tripod too. She's missing a leg. <laughs> Favorite machine gun. Okay, that's hard as well. Um, I have said this before, probably my favorite will always be a Thompson just because that was the first full auto gun I ever shot. But if you want to like subdivide categories and felt beds and sub guns and uh, assault rifle or not assault rifle, excuse me, battle rifles. Um, anyway, so love a BAR, love a Bren, love a Modus. It's very hard to, very hard to pick there too. I just like guns, guys. If you want to ask what I want that I don't have, I got answers for that all day. Um, or what I haven't shot, any of those questions, I got answers for. I would like to do a battle rifle competition though, um, where you like compete. I think they do that at Big Sandy, if I remember correctly. Um, so like you could do a competition with BAR and that would be incredible. Also, side note, um, just because I'm thinking about it because I said something about a Bren, but they've got Bren drums right now on uh, on auction at Rock Island Auction House. Is that correct? Rock Island? Huh. Wait, I don't know why I'm like blinking. I haven't even really, I got to make sure. Rock Island. So I was thinking about Rock Island Armory. Yeah, it is Rock Island Auction. Okay, I was like, why am I second guessing myself? Um, anyway, but they have Bren drums and there's like four of them and they come with a beautiful case and uh, they're probably gonna go for like four grand. So that's gonna be crazy, but I will just watch them. Rock Island always has stuff coming in. Every every time I look, it's just like, ugh, wish I had a reserve. <laughs> Um, we are having way too much fun together. I wish I was going to be here a little bit longer because um, right now I've just been going to the office with them, which is so much fun. Plus, we've got a little, we've got this like amazing couch. And so it's just really nice to sit there and play video games. You know, it is. It's so fun. I could just sleep on their couch forever. Your couch is like the kind of couch that I dream of. I know it's gigantic. Um, anyway, so I'm trying to think what else we covered. Um, so I'm just like kind of running through topics today. Honestly, I'm really tired and it's kind of messing with my mind because we got back from dinner at like 930 and I was ready for bed. I think I ate either too much tacos or didn't have enough caffeine today, 
but yeah, I did have plenty of caffeine. I had two coffees. I had the big coffee and then I had the zillion uh, caffeine chocolate milk. It was like espresso chocolate milk. First time watching any of your content. What's your opinion on the H and K uh, VP nine long slide? I so I honestly don't have a whole lot of experience with the H and K VP nine. Um, so I would love to give you an opinion after I do get a little bit of experience with that. Um, but right now I don't have a great answer for you. There's no such thing as too much tacos. I thought there was no such thing as too much tacos. I also thought there's no such thing as too much donuts. Um, but there is a limit to both actually. I may or may not have had chocolate overdose or chocolate overdose recently. The fun loving Canadian. What's up? Glad you're on here. Thanks for the new gun every day. You are welcome. I feel like it's been so much fun posting a gun of the day. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do about next year though, because like while there are, um, more than enough different types of guns to go a full few years. Um, I'm trying to figure out, you know, it's going to, at some point, I assume it's going to get a little bit harder to bring out something completely different. <laughs> and there's been a couple of AKs in there and then there's been a couple of different variations of ARs. Um, and then there's obviously different calibers we can get explore into, but yeah, it's been really fun, uh, especially getting some of the older stuff on there and just seeing what people are really interested in. Chocolate overdose would be a hell of an obituary. <laughs> yeah, it would. <laughs> Oh man. Sometimes, so there's like a fine line, right? Cause sometimes you need chocolate therapy, um, but there is a chocolate overdose. So finding the balance is, ouch, I kicked something. <laughs> I don't know what I kicked. It might've been a chair. It didn't feel good though. Um, anyway. Okay. So also, we've been talking a little bit about gardening here and there and uh, how I told you all I was trying to plant my tree. And so this past weekend, um, I, what did I do? Well, here we go. <laughs> um, I blanked. Sorry, guys. Anyway, okay, so this past weekend we were working in the yard and I was trying to be a responsible adult and, you know, like get weeds out of the front of your yard and uh, take care of things in the front garden, which isn't really a garden right now because the house has been under construction. So we didn't want to plant anything until that was all taken care of. So anyway, I was trying to weed and I just got a bunch of pine straw and my husband and I were trying to put all this down and we're like, oh yeah, we'll just do this last one. It'll make a lot of difference in the front of the yard and it'll be nice. Um, yeah. So apparently we came across a yellow jacket uh, I guess hive in the ground. I've never ever been stung by yellow jackets before, but, um, they got me pretty bad. Got me pretty bad. I almost have a knuckle again. Um, my ring finger has been swollen up. Well, until today, like this morning, I didn't have a knuckle. It was just like a bubble. Um, and I put my ring back on cause I was thought that all the swelling and stuff was done. And it was not actually, it came back with a vengeance. So, so this all happened on Sunday. Um, I got like a couple of stings on my hand and then like three different stings on my leg. And then apparently yellow jackets can sting multiple times. So um, I think it did do that. But I have like a, I have a welt on my leg right now that's this big where the yellow jacket stung me. So trying to figure out if that means you're allergic or not. If anybody has experience, please let me know because I don't want to go to the doctor, but I might go just to find out. Because I've never been stung before. So anyway, yeah. I don't know what's going on over there. Y'all are laughing. Um, trying to figure out if y'all are still here because I think everything's delayed. <laughs> Next gun of the day should be the coolest squirt gun you can find. I actually posted a squirt gun, um, uh, automatic squirt gun from, I can't remember the company, but it was an AK um, and it was a water gun and it was really cool. Um, but I posted that for April Fool's Day because I thought it was funny. Uh, and then I did an AK for like the gun of the day. I hear yellow jackets love flamethrowers. Yeah, I thought about that um, immediately after because obviously 
I have a flamethrower. I actually brought it with me to Myrtle Beach just in case they wanted to use it while I was out here. Because you really should never go anywhere without a flamethrower because flamethrowers basically can save your life. And multiple scenarios, like, I think I just need to cut this piece of hair off. It's just, there we go. I pronounced you staying there. Um. Anyway. Yeah, I think the flamethrower and the yellow jacket thing is going to work out. But I might let my husband take care of getting rid of them because I'm a little bit nervous to get stung again because this has been really intense. I'm mean, When I tell you that the mark on my leg is like this big, it's actually this big. I drew a line around it um, just to make sure it wasn't going to get any bigger. And so far we're okay, but this was Sunday, so... So no, I was not rushed to the hospital, which was a very beautiful thing. Um, but my brother is is highly, highly allergic to uh, any kind of stings. So and for him, the first time he got stung, it wasn't that bad. The second time he had extreme like swelling and whatnot. And then the next time he went into anaphylactic shock. Um, and that last time was from yellow jackets. So I don't know if this being my first time getting stung, maybe. I had a smaller reaction, but I don't know. I don't know. Hoping that it's nothing, but also really never want to be stung again because this was terrible. Patrick, I hope you never get stung by any kind of bee or a wasp. Mm -hmm. Kenneth, what's up? I'm in South Carolina too. Glad to hear you're okay. Yeah, okay. So that's the other thing. I did not realize how bad they hurt, um, but it's pretty terrible. And <laughs> I got to deal with this when I get back home, but um, all my tools and my glove that I threw off my hand when I was trying to figure out what the heck happened to me is still in my front yard because I was not going to walk back over there and get it. So I tried, tried to convince my dad to go over and um, get my tools out of my yard because he went to Georgia Tech. So he is a Yellow Jacket alumni and obviously they're not going to sting him. Um, he didn't go for it though. So <laughs> I got to take care of that when I get home. Hopefully my neighbors don't hate me. Uh, 85 North, I'm sure. But if you want to mosey down 26... I'm in Myrtle Beach, so I actually think I'll be coming right past you. So maybe, I don't know. Well, I'm going to be coming past you in the middle of the night. So actually, I probably won't see this trip. But I do have quite a few trips to Greenville coming up because um, Machine Gun Shoot is less than three months away now. And it's been officially announced on Instagram and other platforms. And I know that I told you all that the website was coming up any day now, but it's actually coming up any day now. So... <laughs> Hopefully it will be live by the end of the week. I'm crossing all the fingers. Um, and also hopefully it looks really good. I'm really excited for it to finally go live. But we're making moves there. I As soon as it does go live, there will be some additional announcements um, about who is going to actually be out there for the machine gun shoot um, and what all there is going to be to do. So really exciting news. I don't want to share too much right now, but... I was stung by over a hundred bees when I was a kid and never had a reaction. That's crazy. Well, I'm glad you never had a reaction. That's wild. I, I, was, re I was reading all sorts of things because I didn't think it was a big deal. And then I drove all day yesterday. And when I got um, here in Myrtle, I looked at my leg and it was like crazy swollen um, compared to like what it looked like on Sunday. Um, I was really shocked because I was not, I knew it itched, but I was trying not to scratch it. And then I looked at it, I was like, holy moly, no wonder it felt weird. You, There's a Bucky's in South Carolina? Mm -hmm. Y'all have a Bucky's? One. Where is it? Lawrence. Oh, I saw that that was opening, um, I think last year when I was driving through. Apparently there's a Bucky's in Florence. Haven't been there, but I have been to the Taco Bell in Florence quite a few times. Um, yeah, there was one, there was one time when my mom was on like a mission trip and they were driving back, I think from, um, Boston and they stopped at 
the that exit in Florence that has a Taco Bell and she left her purse and then I was driving by the next day and I had to get her purse for her in Florence, South Carolina from a Taco Bell. Anyway, that was a really random story. Sorry about that, guys. I'm having a mild reaction. I would hate to know what a bad reaction is. If my leg didn't look so... Uh, if my leg didn't look so disgusting, I would actually post a picture for y'all, but it was pretty gross. Um, I definitely don't feel like it was mild, but I've also never been stung before, so maybe it's totally normal. <sighs> anyway, so what did y'all get into this past week? Anything exciting? I thought I had more uh, things I was going to talk to you about, and then I completely forgot. Picture didn't happen. Yeah, that's funny. I do have pictures, but like I said, it's gross. Also, also right now on my legs, I have all these like crazy little bruises. And I think, I don't know, I can't figure it out because my husband has not said anything about me like trying to battle in my sleep or anything. But we've been watching a lot of, um, we obviously watch a lot of wrestling and we've been watching a lot of UFC and the Ultimate Fighter recently. So, and we're always watching it right before we go to bed. So I don't know if in my sleep I'm like battling or something, but I feel like I am because I keep waking up and I have like all these little bruises on the inside of my, on the inside of like my calf. Um, but he says I'm not kicking him. So I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm battling something. <laughs> I have no idea where these are coming from. I thought it was, uh, I won't, this happened to me a couple years ago and I thought it was my dogs jumping on me, but I think that I might just be trying to fight. I have no idea. So yeah, my legs look crazy right now. Plus, since I can't go to the gym anymore because of my embarrassing jump rope incident, it's just <laughs> it's just all sorts of terrible. Bucky's is what happens when a cracker barrel in a Walmart get married and have a baby. Yeah, you're not wrong. I made a litter of pilot stations that grow up to marry Texas. <laughs> That is a very creative description. I feel like Bucky's bathrooms should be like the industry standard for everything though. And I will say that to anybody that will listen, like airports should have Bucky's bathrooms. So you can actually bring your suitcase in there and still have room to stand up. Um, there's probably like 99% men on here right now too. So maybe you don't know the same struggle. Maybe you do. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> Bucky's bathrooms are amazing and they're always clean. You've never been to a Bucky's. It's like an experience. I'm from the north. Brisket. Got Bucky's up there. Well, Bucky's is relatively new to everywhere except Texas. It's only been in the last few years that they've expanded. Um, but yeah, we I will stop at every Bucky's I can because you can always get good snacks. Mm -hmm. Bathrooms are definitely clean. They've got a million and two gas station like pumps. So you're not gonna be waiting behind somebody in like a situation with like six gas pumps. Right. Anyway, apparently tonight we're uh, rambling about Bucky's. Anybody else? Anybody else not been to a Bucky's before? <sighs> Brian, what's up? Glad you're on here. Uh, I'm reading something about bee sting stuff to carry in your purse. Maybe I need to get that. Also, I know I could have taken. Uh, like Benadryl or something, but that makes me so sleepy. So I did not do that. All men's room should have a shelf in each stall for him. Hmm. I'm surprised that something coming out of Texas didn't. No Bucky's out there in Utah. I'm sure it's coming though. They expanded on the East Coast very well. We've got, um, I think we have, we have at least two now in Georgia. Um, <laughs> Florida has like a bunch um, and they're all up and down 95. I'm trying to think. Apparently South Carolina has one. Um, but yeah, Bucky's is a very wonderful thing. Alabama has at least one in Talladega or not Talladega in uh, I can't remember the town at the moment. But it's the one that has the best pro shops because we used to always, oh, it's Leeds, Alabama. We used to always stop at um, the Leeds, Alabama 
uh, Bass Pro Shop when we were on our way to Memphis, and now we stop at both. Because <laughs> you have to stop at Bucky's first and go shopping, and then you have to go to Bass Pro Shop and do a lap and look at all the animals and see uh, what you might need in there. So just made our experience that much longer. And they have an outlet mall there. So Leeds, Alabama's got a lot going on. The beaver nuggets taste like breakfast cereal. I've never had those. I have had, um, I don't know what the situation is here or why they taste wonderful together, but grapes and brisket. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. I will have to try, I'll have to try the beaver nuggets. So definitely have to try that. Um, Pyrotech, I cannot believe that you've never been to a Bucky's because I feel like you probably pass them if you go to Texas twice a year. We have a Chick fil A in Washington State now. What? That's kind of cool. Do y'all have sweet tea? Does it have sweet tea? I feel like that would be something that's different there. Although I don't know, I've never been to that state. That's one of the few states I haven't been to yet. Never heard of a Bucky's. What? I feel like it's a sensation that's sweeping the nation. Like everybody's heard of a Bucky's at this point because everyone raves about Bucky's brisket and Bucky's bathrooms and Bucky the Beaver. <sighs> Bucky's and Warner Robins is the best one. Yeah, the, probably because it's the one right beside you, Bill. That's probably why you think that. So you might be biased. Although the, the one in Texas is still the biggest one I've ever been to. Um, and there's like a couple of small like pod Bucky's, I feel like. Wisconsin doesn't have one. Hmm. Well, apparently conversation of the night is going to be Bucky's. Never thought it would happen. That we'd be talking, I'd be rambling about a gas station on the internet with friends. Okay, so no, there's none in Nebraska either. Apparently, maybe just the southeast is uh, Bucky'd up. I think, I don't know. Is there one in Tennessee? Anybody on here from Tennessee? I don't think Kentucky has one either. But I don't know. It's been, now that Knob Creek's not around anymore, I don't have a, I don't have something to go to Kentucky for. So that's sad. All gas stations are awesome in your humble opinion. I am sorry, but I have got to disagree with you there. Like if I drive to a gas station and they have an outdoor bathroom, not going to stop. Sorry. <laughs> or I, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of things that I uh, will not stop at a gas station for. Plus, I feel like just Chevrons are always overpriced. Uh, same for BPs. Sometimes I stop at Valeros, depending on if I'm like really desperate. Um, I do a lot of driving, so <laughs> pass a lot of gas stations. Obviously, Sinclair is like my favorite, though, because they've got a dinosaur. Um, but they kind of seem to have more expensive gas, too. So I don't know. We don't have Sinclair's in uh, Georgia. Oh, there is one in Tennessee near Knoxville. Cool. Oh, wait. No. Uh, I'm trying to think. Did it just open? Because I feel like I saw uh, the mayor of Knox County talking about a Bucky's that was opening close by. I'm like trying to remember. I think he did like a live or something from Bucky's. Anyway. Um, well, I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm like pretty darn tired and I'm probably going to cut this a little bit shorter than I usually do. Um, plus, my friends are being saints and letting me go live and interrupt their evening to listen to me ramble. So <laughs> uh, not our, not quite our typical Tuesday chats, but it's been something. It's been something. Uh, and I've been enjoying being on here, of course. We have Quick Trip gas stations. So Quick Trip, Racetrack, they're pretty good too. Um, Sheets is good. Wawa's are good. I'm trying to think of what else. Wawa's have like good hamburgers from what I remember too. I wonder if he still uses his entrance music when he goes anywhere. I'm going to guess probably he doesn't, but wouldn't that be funny if he did? I love uh, I love watching his Twitter feed because he's always, like, checking into all the local things, even if it's, like, a knitting club. I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. I think he makes a really good mayor.
they know the stories they should be joining in. They should be joining in. I'm actually kind of bummed that they didn't because we just did a podcast earlier this evening and um, we got like, I don't know how long we were on there, but we got a decent amount of time in and we were still rambling about things and like barely just uncovering uh, the past of knowing each other. Um, it was myself and then uh, the owners of Forge Relations, which are also the people that put on the Gundies, which are also my friends for like the past um Ben, how long have I known y'all? Seven years. Seven years. Is that right? I don't know. 2014? We'll say 2015 when yeah, I like really knew. Yeah, I guess it's been seven years. Daggum. That is really wild. Pilot usually has the cheapest gas on the interstates. Sometimes I feel like they definitely did um, on our road trip to Iowa. I think it was a pilot that was significantly lower than everywhere else. And it was somewhere in like iowa right before you got to missouri maybe um except i thought that they were the cheapest and then i gassed up at pilot and then i saw the walmart had like 12 cents cheaper which is crazy <laughs> ben you're being threatened what? uh you better shape up or people are gonna follow you just to unfollow you to make a point what did i do um, I don't know. <laughs> Unless I'm reading that wrong, which I totally could be. <laughs> Make the point. Make the point, Jeff. Make the point. Anyway, but I will be on a podcast. As a, uh, I will be on a podcast with them because we did just record that tonight. Um, and hopefully it'll be like a part one of probably seven because we've only got more uh, fun and exciting things coming. Um, they're also part of this All-American Machine Gun adventure with me. So it's going to be a wild year. Um, I didn't think that years could get crazier than they did like 2020, but it's getting crazier and crazier. So I don't have my own podcast. Um, their podcast is Forge Relations. That was a question. Yeah. Yeah. Forge Relations is uh, the po their podcast. Right, Brian? But that has been something that we've been uh, tossing up in the air. Um, my brother and I were actually talking about maybe recording something. I told you all that I've got a studio space. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use that for pictures or we talked about using it for videos or possibly that side of things. So I don't know. Who listens to podcasts? Is that something that y'all would actually listen to? You already listen to me ramble for an hour a week. So I don't know if that's really something you want to add to your plate. <laughs> Can you type that? Yeah, I'll type that in there. Ouch. Oh, Forge Relations. Here we go. Podcast, thumbs up. Cool. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that. Leave. Why are words so hard every week? It just always happens like this. Um, anyway, I am going to leave it at that and um, say goodnight to y'all because I'm supposed to work in the morning. And technically, I guess my boss is sitting right here. So he's going to know that I'm not sick or I am, or if I am or am not late. Um, <laughs> Ooh, the joys. Anyway. All right. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Thank you for jumping on here with me every Tuesday and uh, rambling and chit chatting about everything and anything, including gas stations. Definitely didn't see that one coming tonight, but it has always, it is always a blast and it was tonight as well. So thanks for being on here, guys. Hope you have a very wonderful Tuesday and hopefully I will have uh, enough, more exciting news to tell you all next week, but nothing to do with yellow jackets because I never want to talk about them again and jump ropes. All right. Good night. <laughs>